Dennis Jr. here in Lincoln, Nebraska with Zager Guitars. Uh, today we're going to do a little comparison between our Zad 20E Mahogany and our Zad 50CE uh, Acoustic, and both, both Acoustic Electrics. A lot of customers are interested in these two guitars, so they're, you know, they're asking us to do a little comparison side by side, so, you know, maybe you can get just a little bit better acquainted uh, with the two uh, before making your decision here. Uh, you'll notice on the left the uh, 20E Mahogany, that's a full mahogany guitar, uh, where the uh, 50CE on the right, uh, that is a spruce and mahogany guitar. Um, Sound-wise, boy, these two are going to be very similar. I'll have my father play them side by side uh, so you can get a better idea. But uh, basic guitars, you know, they're, they're both full-size guitars, so they're going to be that great full-size, you know, dreadnought sound. Um, my father braces the, the cutaways. You'll see this one has that cutaway box, that notch for your hand to slide down low. For you beginners out there, you know, uh, the cutaway, it's just a, a nice little addition so you can slide down low on the fretboard. Um, not essential, you know, some players spend more time down there than others. Um, so, but don't think you're going to be getting hurt sound-wise a lot uh, just because you got the cutaway. Some guitars you will on ours, just because my father braces them differently, it's negligible. We do blindfold tests all the time. I have a tough time uh, telling these two apart that way. Uh, with the mahogany, uh, with the mahogany face uh, on the 20E here, maybe a little bit um, warmer sound than, than the 50, but um, boy, they're going to be close. The 50s may be a little punchier, a little more power. But uh, we'll, we'll do sound check here in a minute. Uh, very similar electronics this year. Actually, this year we bumped up the electronic system um, on our 20 series. Uh, so these units are very similar this year. Let me pull this away so you can see a little bit closer up here. And that's on the... Uh, both have the automatic built-in tuners on them. And uh, even this year, we even bumped up... Uh, we used to have a black... Uh, we had the black kind of like this is last year's model up here behind the wall. We had the black lacquer. This year we bumped up to uh, the uh, uh, on the 20 series. We we moved up to the uh, headstock uh, from our Zat 80 series guitar. So we we've, we've definitely made some improvements on this on on our 20 series. Uh, reason being, the black is nice, but I tell you what, when you when you change strings, you can get marks on the headstock. It's kind of like a black. Car that way they do show marks more or the, the the on the mahogany with the uh, with the rosewood headstock well for one it blends very well on this guitar and it does not show the marks and uh, we're running the same here on the 50 um, 50 a little bit higher end electronics package actually it's the same one that we're they're using in our uh, 80 series guitars uh, this year so you get a little jump up there same tuner system um, you know the main uh, difference you know if if you're just looking for the best playability, bang for the buck, well then I definitely choose the 20 series here because these two guitars are going to play identical. Uh, they're designed in that same way. My father sets them up the same way, so I, uh, playability is identical. Um, you want the higher end electronics package, then I'd be going for uh, the 50 series. Um, sound wise, hmm, very close. A little bit more power out of the uh, out of the 50 then uh, the 20 maybe a little bit warmer uh sound off the off the 20 uh with the mahogany and i think i'm just going to call my dad over here now and we're going to do just a little sound comparison so he can play while i hold the camera and and uh, listen why don't you grab the 20 get here in the middle and get in the back up in the middle there there we are okay and uh let's just do a little I'll be quiet. Okay, there's the 20. And let's do the uh, 50. Very, very close. Very, very close, folks. Uh, you're going to have to have a dedicated ear to tell these two apart. Uh, they're, they're very close. But let's do another back. Hit this one again, and then I'll go back.
Uh, like I said, playability is going to be identical. Here, I'll grab the other one. You can hold them both up side by side here. You know, looks, everyone's got their own personal thing on looks. Um, I, I have customers coming from, just, you know, as examples here, I, a lot of guys coming from mid-level Taylors and Martins going for the 50 series, like, you know, D18, D28, that sort of thing. Also have those customers who, who, who go with our uh, Mahoganies, our 20 series, and, and equally happy. So, you know, it just kind of matters maybe where your budget is, uh, what, what, what you're looking for in sound, that sort of thing. Aesthetics, if you want the cutaway box. Have customers equally, ha I, we have many customers who own both guitars and, and like them for, you know, they're uh, just, they are different guitars. Uh, but they like them both for equal reasons. So, you know, it kind of, just kind of comes down to what you're looking for. And if you have any additional questions, uh, you know, don't be afraid to call or email. Someone's here seven days a week. Do remember, uh, as on all of our guitars, uh, they have a 100% money-back guarantee, lifetime warranty. So if you get one, it doesn't work out. Uh, we pick it up, uh, pay shipping both ways. You're not out a penny to try one. Also, um, you know, uh, we do a lot of exchanges that way. Maybe you'll get the one guitar and say, you know, uh, we have a lot of customers who will start maybe with our 20 model and uh, and just to test us out to see if, you know, if they're all that the reviews say they are, that sort of thing. And they end up being so happy with the 20, they try it for a week and say, you know what, I want to go for the 50 or maybe the 80 or the 900. And, uh, you know, we're happy to do that. We pay shipping uh, in exchanges. We pay all that. So, you know, you're more than welcome to try a 20 and you say, you know, what? I want to bump up to the 900 or the 80. We can do that. No problem. So until next video, I think we're going to be comparing the uh, 50 series to the 80 series. So get ready for that one. All right. Take care, folks.